So today on this lovely Saturday afternoon, we are at the Evasive Motorsports grand opening celebration. It's kind of like an unveiling for their Pikes Peak car that Dai is going to be driving at the Pikes Peak thing this year. And uh, they decided to throw a little party and invite some friends and have some cars on display for everybody to see with free drinks and free food. So who wouldn't want to come to this? It's a private event, but it's going to be a, a lot of people here tonight I hear. Which is nice because I haven't really been out and about in a while. Have some drinks, talk some you know, it'll be fun. of interesting things here today. Don't know how much I'll film, but try to get as much as possible. It's an HKS wide body Supra, Titan 7 wheels. Varus M4. Ings Supra. Hi. You guys just on the outside, huh? Oh, you put on your best shirt today. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. I was gonna just wear a black t shirt. She was like, Hi. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> he has it on under. He can take it off. Yeah. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. This Liberty Walk. Ferrari. Same kit as the one that you're gonna see on Mike from Stanceworks car. This is probably one of three kits, I think, in the US. Got Sam Dew's Super right here with the EBS kit, BBS LM wheels. Some nice vibes here. The Voltex S2000. Same as everybody else. Got The FK8 K20C powered 8.6, owned by Guy Yoshihara. This is one of the base of old race cars. Okay. Honda F20C powered Mercedes. Another one of Dai Oshihara's cars. The previous Pikes Peak competitor. <laughs> this 
this thing? This is the former 5 Zegan uh, Super GT Supra. This car's been stateside for decades now with no engine. I think it's owned by Carter Jung. But it currently sits here at Evasive. As you can see, there's no engine inside. These cars, for competition, they came with 3S GTEs. Tiny mirrors. Yeah, really good. Because like, yeah. So our apartment. So every spot, like the, the building owner, you know. Um, 
and you see the arrow is all custom. We have a front splitter, rear diffuser, and the beam is from Voltex Japan. It's a small neck beam, chassis mounted. Um, the wheels are, these are the brand new Titan 7 EP5 wheels. Um, 18 by 11, and it's got a um, Toyo slicks that are made for pike speed. to go check out this BMW display that's going on over in uh, Orange County at like a airfield, like a private airfield slash aviation museum. And I was like, hey, that sounds pretty cool. So I'm not doing shit anyway, so I might as well go check it out and uh, make a morning of it, I guess, even though I don't like doing things in the morning. But you know, it's an opportunity to go see something cool and new. And plus one of our friends, Mike from Stanceworks, his old uh, BMW build that's now privately curated by someone else, um, Rusty Slammington. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that car, but if you're a car guy, you probably know about it. Um, that car is on display there, and it's parked next to like an old fighter plane and everything. So, looked pretty cool from what Dur showed me. So yeah, I was like, yeah, let's go check it out. Probably gonna go do that and then um, grab some lunch afterwards, and then get out of the OC just because it's a hot weekend and uh, I'd rather be inside with some air conditioning, you know. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So today we are at Lion Air Museum for this BMW. What is this? Like some sort of BMW showcase thing? BMW takes flight. Oh, it's called BMW takes flight. And it's literally a BMW showcase at an airport or an airfield. The main reason why we came over here was to check out Mike from Stanceworks' car, or his former car, which he built and is currently owned by somebody else now, private collector. But there's this cool little display for it right here next to this uh, army plane. And there's just people everywhere. I haven't seen this car in ages. Good to know that it's still looking uh, rusty. I don't really know too much about BMWs, but there seems to be a lot of them here. So we're gonna take a look at some today since we have some time. A nice summer day. Let's see if this car is totally intact still. I think the last time I saw this car was at SEMA. So the engine is... So, uh, some of Mike's best work. Very cool display. But it got me like highly alert for it. Never go wrong when you mix cars and airplanes and stuff together. It's a E30 wagon? Like a E28 M5 or something? A lot of people what they'll do is go ham still not up to Turn 
it on and go. One of my uh, friends, he worked, he's a service advisor at Carbier. He says people in the recommended oil it's a cool venue. What sort of E something or other is this? <laughs> it's also leaking a bunch I don't know what it is. It just says Bavaria on it. Cool, man. E27. This is the 2022 F90M3 right here. Yeah, that's it. Just kidding, of course. This is a 1938 BMW coupe. I only know that because this is the M7. <laughs> no, it's an A38. It's, a, it's an A38. Before they started using the letter E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. These CSLs are always nice. <laughs> For Elon Musk. It's Elon Musk right there. <laughs> it's a 2002s. Finally, we arrive at the section that Dirt mildly cares about. Doesn't look at his own, but look at everybody else's. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, look at that. Not your own. Just one more thing to fix. Yeah. Oh. Nice color. DTM ears. Door handles. Wow. Carbon door panels. But these roped off for the planes or for us? Well, it was something I went, I, I was by a yeah. restaurant the other day and this was outside. You see what it says? He actually advertised that. I don't know what he thought. Well, I definitely wouldn't buy it. Knowing me, I would not buy my kid a desktop. Wow, look at this. Mm hmm. You can tap into all the computers. Yeah. Couple of M1s here, roped off as they should be. Oh, this one has SSRs on it. Oh no, those are BBS.
I thought it was really weird how they put the badges at the end. On both sides? Yeah. So weird. Yeah. Hmm? Can you recline if you want to? Yeah. Kind of stuck in position. The speaker. <laughs> right in the door panel. Yeah. So, post BMW Shindig lunch at Mitsua. Everything's starting to feel kind of normal now with the indoor dining and whatnot. Look right here. <laughs> Pretty good turnout today. This is uh, DPK David's E46. He is the host of this gathering that we have. Ah, car's coming. This is Jared's 964. With, uh, is this the first set of Desmond Regamasters for Porsches? You can see the shallow hub. What ball pattern are these, dear? 5 by 130? Oh. Center hub looks so interesting because it's so shallow. Oh, he's got, on the other side, he has a Desmond sticker. Yeah, he would. Looks good. I don't know how I felt about it when I saw it in photos. Just because I always, like, I think that Desmonds should have, like, deep hubs on it, you know? But for Porsche fitment, you can't really get around that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so interesting. You like it with or with the Desmond sticker? Without it. It's a little much with it. Yeah, it's a good look. This Voltex S2000 right here. Bronze E forties. It's Tommy's car, of course. I bet you if you asked Tommy, he wouldn't even realize that I've known him since like 2003, back when he was a part of the Autobots. <laughs> I don't think he does. I don't think he has any idea that I've known him this long. Oh yeah, he was a dude. Let me go ask him. Hey Tommy, when did we meet? No. General. Yeah. What do you mean here? I just saw you like an hour ago. I don't know what time that was. <laughs> like how long? 
years, dude. Like 2000. Oh, he does know then. <laughs> yeah, 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, just like, I bet you Tommy don't even realize he's known me for like 20 years now. Fun fact, that's when he used to wear women jeans. Yeah. He, he was the first dude to ever wear skinny jeans. <laughs> it was the skinny jeans. He was It's before men had skinny jeans. <laughs> he, had, he had blue tips. Uh huh. Yeah. That was when he was an Autobots Tommy. <laughs> Some Hondas over here. The Midori Green 96 Spec Civic. Ooh. This coupe has an exceed lip on it. <laughs> it's a good look. Oh. Some aggressive RZRs on here. Look at these RZRs, dude. <laughs> I don't know. They're super aggressive. No, they're original. It's just a really yeah. It's a really rare spec. That's like a 15.9. 15.8. 15, oh, later. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it has to be like a 15.8. So interesting. And 4x100 too. He also has a stack cluster in here and a stack fuel gauge. It's like integrated into the dash. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Whoa, this car is cool. Got a exceed wing. Look at the fuel gauge. <clears throat> yeah, it didn't have these wheels on it though. Right? It's like concave with the lid. Yeah, that's sick. Usual suspects. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That 96 is pretty nice. Yeah. Wow. Look at the paint on this thing. <laughs> I like his plate. This episode's gonna have some <clears throat> interesting variety of cars. Dara was trying to get a photo of this car from the other side and then that person pulled up and f***ed the whole shot, so there goes that. Oh. <laughs>